Hello everyone, good afternoon and glad to have you joining us. It's 60 Minutes Nigeria. This is the program where we take you through the country, around the country in 60 minutes. Well, today, uh, this state is in a spotlight. Uh, so we are looking at the quest for power and, of course, clamor for power shift. Though 2024, gladiators are already plotting and permutating to know who's going to be the next number one citizen of the state. Well, according to some analysts, they said this is a period where the rivalry between Oshomole and Governor Baseki, that it might be reignited. Who knows? But just to bring you up to speed, some of the persons that are on the front burner, on the front line uh, for the quest to take over the battle of leadership from, battle of leadership from Governor, Governor Baseki, Osumbo is there. We have the incumbent deputy governor of the state, Philip Shaibu. We have Clem Agba. We have um, the Masuabo. And uh, these are some of the heavyweights that are throwing in their toil in the game. But politicians are already seeking alternative platforms as uh, they felt some of the major parties in the state are not really giving them the well without to be part of them. Well, that's going to be on the flip side. And those state governor, Gordon Obaseki, Adam Sushomala, the former governor of the state, uh, Professor Seremo Sumbo, the deputy governor, like I told you, former minister, Prince Clem Agba, Kenneth Maswabo, and former Edo deputy governorship candidate, John Yakubu. Uh, we have people like Ono Leme. These are some of the gladiators who are already caught in the web of K. And of course, as the intrigue is getting serious, towards the number one seat. Who knows what will happen? Let's quickly get you through the studio and let you know the guests that we have here this afternoon. Uh, from my immediate left, he's not a person than Honorable Prosper Iere. He's a civil rights activist. Thank you for coming, Prosper Iere. It's always my pleasure. And sitting close to him is the erudite Roy Aruabo. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. And from our extreme left in the studio, uh, he's not the person that a comrade, Cortis Egusa Ubo. Thank you for thank, coming. Thank you for having me. <laughs> okay, now, let's, let's start with you, Prosper Eri. 2024 is around the corner. Right. We are not going to shy away from that. The elections will come. Governor Baseki will round up his tenure and another battle of leadership. Take us through. What's your take? What are your expectations? Well, for me, for me, very strongly, I feel that uh, very strongly, I feel that uh, preparations are all uh, taking shapes. Uh, they say he that comes to equity must come with a clean hand. Mm. Uh, right from the creation of uh, those states uh, till, the, till, till this point that we are speaking. Uh, I mean, by tripod arrangements, uh, some senatorial districts have had their fair share one would only think that, look, where is ASAM, Edo Central Senatorial District, in all of this equation? So mm. I think very strongly as we are preparing our mind, we should also try to put in uh, all level of sincerity of purpose and honesty of intention in, uh, in the agitation towards 2024. Okay. Now, since the President and Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces used the phrase, Emilokong, I think we are, we are about to see such play out again in Edo State as the uh, Isa Central, the senatorial district where they have they felt they've marginalized. But Rory Wabo, is there anything like Isa Agenda? Personally, I, I, I find it difficult to use the word Isa Agenda. If you have been following me, I believe in Edo Agenda. Because Isa is also an integral part of Edo. Therefore, when you are saying Isa Agenda, to me, with due respect to those who are singing that song, who are preaching that sermon, I, I, I always see it as a very elementary one. You know, like how do you explain to my friends in Evo Kabwa that you have an agenda called this agenda? How do you explain to my friends from Uyikui that uh, you'll be telling that uh, we have an ESA agenda? I believe very strongly that we have an Edo agenda. Mm -hmm. Therefore, that Edo agenda supersedes any other agenda. Any other agenda, I see as, a, as not relevant as an Edo agenda. All of us are Edo people. 100%. Therefore, on the straight being an Edo people, we must, I will continue to support that freedom. It's an Edo agenda. In, in other words, the ASAN race should rest their quest for that is shift. That is not my point. I'm not telling you they should rest or not mm. to rest. I'm, I'm, only telling you, mm. I'm telling you that mm. I don't subscribe to that for ASAN agenda. I okay. subscribe to a do agenda. You okay. know, it is natural. There is no senatorial district in the state 
no matter the test of large number, the test of population that can single handedly produce a governor. At all. The constitution will be said that. That's the reason why I said no, no matter the numbers you have, you know, you cannot single handedly produce a governor. You need some points from the local government here and there to make sure a government. You know, and the point, on that point, I stand to portray my point that uh, a dual agenda is one of the best agenda. Because one, if you, if you limit it to ESA agenda, it's, because to me, ESA agenda is a limited uh, platform. It's even a limited uh, disposition. Therefore, when we call it a dual agenda, the rest of those people will be interested. My very good friend here, he will be happy what to talk to because he will want to talk to me when I'm discussing a dual agenda with him. He will be at peace with me. Any other person from any part of Edo State will be at peace when we are discussing Edo agenda. What do we really need? We want a do that will be better for all of us. Whether you like it or not, across the three zones that make up territorial decision that make up, there are capable hands. There are persons who have all it takes. The last time I can we have to, for my record, about 46 aspirants. People want to be governor. Therefore, that is a law for you to know that Edo is a place that. In terms of politically, we are highly sophisticated. We have evolved over the years. Therefore, I want to appeal to you and to some of us who believe in ESA and Jedha, not to limit us. So you are not appealing to me now. Appealing <laughs> 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 you know, let's, let's, appealing. let's discuss. Let's so discuss our agenda. Interest. When we discuss yes, agenda, as a person. yeah, when we discuss mm -hmm. uh, a dual agenda, it will be more very encompassing. People will be interested in supporting that kind of agenda. Edo is one. Yeah, Edo is one. Okay, now, do you share any thoughts? Uh, well, um, I agree with him to some extent. Okay. You know, uh, but feel free to define your thoughts. No <laughs> you see, the idea of this uh, ESA agenda or whatever has been uh, an issue. To me, I don't subscribe to it. We should be talking about competence. A do state belongs to all of us. This idea of this. Uh, Beneath have gotten their share, mm. Asian should get their share. What of Akuku Edu and others? There is no on, on one man that being a governor in Edu State. So we should forget anything concerning our senatorial district agenda. Everybody should come to the table, come with competence, integrity, the love for the people. There are a lot of these persons that want to be governor. They don't have any business here in Endo State. There is no, they don't have any string attached. They don't have stake. No stake. Mm. They come all the way from Lagos, Abuja, they come and rule us, steal our money and go back. They don't care about us. So we are, 2024 is going to be very tough. We are going to come out, you know, and make sure we put the people that are on ground here, that love the people, love our tradition, respect our people, yeah, that's what it is. You have all, all it takes. You love your people. Not this agenda. This agenda, I call it corruption. You are, you to, it's a corrupt mind that would think that way. Okay. You know. You have been itching while he was talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to react to his statement? Well, let me let me also just uh, speak to the issues, not the person. Let me underscore the point that uh, my brother here raised mm. when he said that uh, there is one right from Igbo Baoha local government to, uh, uh, to a donut. A do is just one. By tripod arrangement, just like uh, Kotisubo uh, uh, spoke about just now. There's no way we can talk about uh, micro zoning to one particular region. We're talking about the three senatorial districts, all right, as provided by the constitu constitution. Mm -hmm. So if uh, for over time on that review, uh, those South had gotten, by the grace of God, God in Ogagasi of Baseki will complete his tenure, and that makes it 17 years from the uh, Edo, Sen Edo South extraction. Then Oshomole, as we all know, already had done his eight years. The only time that Edo Central had an opportunity to be in Osadebe Avenue was short-lived during the time of distinguished senator Osumbo. That was about, uh, I think, a year and uh, six months or thereabout, you know. So for me, I feel very strongly that while we are, you know, making agitations towards who get what, when and how, as propounded by uh, Harold Lashwell and uh, Abad Easton, they say politics is authoritative allocation of value. Politics is who get what, when and how. 
That is where we are going in 2024. Now, when you look at it holistically, we are not saying it. I mean, for me, I will call it Okisemabegbe, just like you will have the, the slogan of the Milokons and all of those things. Well, again, let me also, um, you know, stress the fact that we have um, been consulting to uh, those South Senatorial Districts. Just like you said, uh, it is not for ESA alone. It is all encompassing. We are all one. We need to talk to ourselves. You talked about competencies, competency in the race. We have all of those things in Edo Central. So we are appealing to Edo South's critical stakeholders, to the electorate, to uh, 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 what, what they call it now, to the delegates in Edo North, and across board to see reasons why they should try to give us a chance okay. to preside over. Right, right, but do you think Osadebe Avenue should be rotational? Hello, but, uh, I am too sophisticated to reason and underline. Okay, why? You, you agree with me that I'm an That sentiment must be there. My mother is from Igwebe, an Esau. My father is from Ohoadua, an Esau. Therefore, whichever way you shake it, whichever way you look at it, I'm a full Esau You also agree with me that you cannot discuss Esau in isolation without going to the Benins. History has it that the Benins are more or less like our father. You cannot differentiate between a father and a son. We must look at it on that angle. Mm -hmm. Because by the time you are discussing at that elementary level of face and gender, you are making some persons not to be happy. Some persons who believe that they have the numbers. They, they are not comfortable when you say that. Therefore, we must be able to take it to the next level of discussion. How do we get on this? In terms of competency, as you mentioned, there is nowhere competency is not there. I don't have the competent ability. I have the records and the test of, uh, test of qualification. The, the, records records, the records are there. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, can, I can be the governor. So yes. The records are there. Yeah, the, the records, records are there. there. We should go and verify. Can, yes, I can okay. be the governor. It's, it's just if I have the empowerment, who said, not to give us a bit But the issue is that one, I believe that we must promote that oneness. I don't want these politics to divide us. Because that is the reason why. I've, I've written several articles on this. We should not be going to an election like as if we are going to war. We must go to an election as if all of us are from Edo State. If you look at it, if you look at it holistically, you go to the 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 the, 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 the Asian nation, the, all the local government there. You look at the second tenor uh, of a Basaki election. You can see their contribution. It was more or less hundred percent. They did not say because this man is from the Benin. Somebody, you remember Oshomole election. You can see the effort. Even in the, in the, the heart of Urumi, where PDP was very strong. Yes. As are there. They, the national leaders, everybody was there. Oshomole went there to divide the power that be there. Okay. The people did not say because mm. this man is not from us. And that is the point I'm trying to make. All of us must, let's pursue this 14 and 24 with a vigor. What I mean by vigor, with collective vigor based on understanding, based on unity. So that there will not be dissatisfaction. I don't want a situation tomorrow after after election. Countries that we usually hang out together will not to hang out with me. But you'll be taking away half an extra agenda. You know? The media wrote that always we hang out together and say, no, no position, I don't understand it. Let us talk as Edo people. One, why are we even interested in we should retain all this? Is it not because the system is not working? If the system is working, who cares who okay. is there? Who really okay. cares? In America, you saw it. A, a husband just finished as a president. The, the wife was going. Mm -hmm. A father finished as a president. The son was going. The people, not, they were not bothered. Why? Because the system it's is working. working. We should look at how Nigeria will work for all of us. By the time Nigeria is working, Edo is working. Who cares? Am I interested who is in Osadeh Abbey Avenue? If, I'm, okay. if anywhere you want mm -hmm. to go, there is no special uh, uh, petrol station now. Where those from the Benin will go and buy for it. There's no special one where those from Mesa will go and buy for it. Is, Therefore, uh, let us discuss it on the issue of Some uh, persons are saying the quest for power shift is dead on arrival. Of course. Why? How? Uh, like uh, Rima have just said, you see, we cannot continue at this point in our life politically to be reasoning something that is not constitutional. We should be thinking of how to make our state a better place. It can be done. He said, like he said, Adam Soshomole came in the platform of a, a comrade. And the people said, ah, this man 
politicians have been have been uh, deceiving us. You know, this man is not a politician. He's a comrade. He, he, he loves the masses. That's why you saw a lot of crowd. Not minding where he came from. But at the end of the day, he wanted to be a godfather. He now wanted to impose somebody on us. You know, and uh, the, uh, the rest is history. We all know what happened. You see, if as a comrade and the masses voted for you because of who you are, not where you came from, because of your antecedent, your integrity, your so-called integrity that they were looking at. Say, this man is always fighting for the masses. When there is fear, when, when there is increase in uh, in petrol, you, you know, some of them will always come out and, uh, you know, people during his time in NLC. Yes, people accepted him, and at the end of the day, he messed us up, all of us up, by coming with by force. You think so? Yes, I'm saying you my mind. So? That is my mind. Okay. He went and brought somebody, imposed, said, this is the man I want, as if he is the owner of the state. Those are things we don't want to happen in 2022, I mean 2024. No Isha will come and say, it's my turn. We don't want that. We want people with competence. Everybody should come out on the feed. If, if you are popular, let's go. I'm from the Labour Party. We are not going to bring everybody. We'll come on the feed. We'll go and buy form. I'm contesting. We, we, are, want, we are going to talk about Labour you know, Party, how we have so, so, so many forces flooding, flooding Labour Party. We, we, are, going to, we are going to talk about we are, that. We are, there we are, are so many reactions from that party. The we, best you come out. We will we, we'll talk about that, but don't you yeah. think having so many persons trooping into that party, that might collapse the structure in the state? Not it, for me, for me, you know, yeah, politics hmm. is, uh, a is, you know, is a game of okay. numbers. You know, okay. so, it doesn't. Uh, we are looking at them. Let them call. We know them. So if he's uh -huh. not saying it should not be rotational, should it not be based on competence? Of course. And do you not think Edo Central have those that can take over the baton of leadership? I'm talking to you now. Here. Okay, good. For me, uh, well, uh, I mean, this whole idea is to brainstorm and, I mean, whatever we say, we say mm. at this level, it is on our individual. Sure, sure, sure. Individual your opinion. Uh, sure, level, sure. And we are all entitled to our own opinion. Absolutely. Yes. But, but just to be fair with you, I, I think very strongly that, uh, uh, while I like to say that, uh, I also want to say that we are very much uh, strategic. I don't really know time. what you said now. I don't know if you can yeah, translate it. it. It's it's I'm lost. It's a parable. 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 The whole you, need, you used to till the soil in the farm. Yeah. Mm. When you are tilling the soil, it comes to your... To, your, to, to your, you. To, to you, you and all of those things. So I would speak in favor of my senatorial district, and I stand very strong on that. Mm. Okay. We are, we, are, we are prepared, and we have vast majority of um, young persons, vast majority of experienced politicians, just like a lot of persons who hold brief for this argument that, look, we don't want a technocrat who is not on ground. Edo, South, Edo Central Senatorial District, we have home-based politician who knows the terrain mm -hmm. from Edo South to Edo Central to Edo North. We, we have competent persons on board that we can put forth. So when you talk about competence, we have a lot of that, more than enough. Fine. And the records are there. All we, all we, want, all we want is a better Edo state. Okay, now, okay. If, if we have, according to you, you have people that are competent, there are, there's, there's a serious issue now. Some stakeholders are saying that the ASA clan, they have a way of selling out. Royal Rua about likely to respond to that. No, no, no. That, that, out. That, is a, that is a direct indictment. Mm. I, I believe you have to reframe it. You know, I'm an ASA man. I told you before that my mother and my father, they are from Esa. Mm -hmm. You cannot say that an Esa might have that tendency of selling out. No that, that, that's a direct indictment of my person, direct indictment of my children. I would, would you know an I, I would want you to so, so you have to reframe that. So, so, so now, they, 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 have a, they don't have a way of cooperating with themselves. Uh, well, Lack of cooperation. Do you know how many political parties are in Nigeria as today? Different persons belong to different parties. As we are here, theory, of course, if mm. yes, what we will belong to different political parties. Of course. At a time when my father was alive, I was in a different party entirely from my father. We went to the field and I was voting for my party. My father was voting for his party. It happened. That is the That is the That is the That is the your relationship. That's the That is 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 the I was, I was a chairman of a, as a, a city chairman of a political party. My younger brother was contesting for another, uh, for counselor in another party. We vote on the same polling vote. We were sitting there working. That does not spare our relationship. That does not amount to sending out. 
you belong to a party because of that strong conviction. You are ideologically driven. That is why the reason why you belong to conviction. a conviction. You know, so. on that conviction of ideology, you identify yourself with a political party. Therefore, for anybody to think that is a seller process, that is elementary. I, I will not think that. The issue in the battle of us is that one, we are talking about competency. We are talking. Mm -hmm. If you are to go to Eastern Nation, there are many capable houses there. Mm -hmm. Even when we were down at those states, uh, Bendesi, you recall that there was a man called Ambrose Ali. He was a governor in Bender State. Yes. When, even when the door was over, nobody talks about the number there. Nobody talks about competency because yeah. the competency have already been there. We are, the installation is overloaded with competency and character. Yes. Yeah, there are persons who are there who have what it takes to be governor. You understand me? Let us know that. But the issue I'm saying is that all of us, we are going to approach this election with high level of unity and mm -hmm. commitment that the, uh, the, the people from Edo South we know from themselves that let us give it to these people. Then the people from the North will say, oh, let us give it to them. As I'm talking to you, there is no a week I don't attend stakeholders meeting. You, you also know the voice of the commoner. From the report for the commoners, you know, we are convinced that this election, it is the people that will determine it. Whether you like it or not, the political parties sure. return. I see the, it might not be easy for the political party to give ticket to the Asian nation. We, okay. must, we must agree on that. It's not going to be easy. You will expect the Labour man will agree, the PDP man will agree, the APC man will agree. The talk, talk, man talking about, will talking agree. about political uh, party, uh, Honorable Yere, do you think the political parties we have on the ground in the states are ready for this election? 100%. They are all ready. I mean, who isn't? Everybody wants to get to, get to power. Who isn't ready? The Labour Party that has become the third force in Ido, uh, that, that has become the new bride, Mm. In, our, in, our, in our political system today, uh, they are ready. I mean, they are focused and they are ready. APC is there. I'm not trying to hold brief for any political You party. are now. <laughs> you are. He directed. You are. So the records of ground. Are you talking about the records of ground? I'm talking about facts of ground, yeah. just like you asked. Uh, everybody is ready. Labor is ready. Uh, PDP that you may think that are having, you know, some uh, fracas within the party. They are, ready, they are ready too. APC, they are also very focused and uh, determined to get there. So... When you talk about uh, Sadebe Avenue, all political parties are, are determined to, to, mm. to take the, the, the lead. And that's it. Well, now, quest for who succeed you is one of the things we see as far as election is concerned. Should the incumbent governor determine his successor? <laughs> the so? For me, he doesn't have that right. You know, these are the things we have been fighting about. It, it's been happening. Yes. You know, that is the issue we had with Oshomole. The common governor that came that was supposed to change things around and follow, make sure that you listen to the masses of the people. What the masses want is what you should be going after. In terms of the numbers that came on us, after eight years, look at what happened. It's almost eight years now. Are they still rolling together? No. They betrayed themselves. So when they, asked, when they started saying uh, anything like uh, uh, Isan agenda, Edo agenda, mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. that's Got no basaki coming through or okay. You know? mm. We would like to quickly take a short break now. Yes. We'll return back and continue the front line of this discussion. Don't yeah. go nowhere. Well, no doubt that there have been political scheming with major political aspirants across party divides, taking their game to the next level uh, as far as the Edo election is concerned. 2024 is just around the corner, uh, whether we like it or not. And of course, while the issue of which senatorial district in the state should produce the next governor would be at the heart of this discussion, uh, we've always emphasized uh, that on this platform, every of our guests are entitled to their opinion. Baseke and Oshomole's rivalry is one thing I would like us to look at as we are approaching the pool in 2024. But we are with you. Yes. Uh, you said the uh, governor should not determine his Of course, success. that is my stand. But Wiki, Wiki, when he was giving his, during his Thanksgiving <laughs> service, he said one of his greatest moments was having the person who succeeded him, he can sleep now. Mm. So don't you think every sitting governor wants to have a success? What is that they are, they are hiding? If you work well transparently, you, you know, you are, you are accountable to the people, why will you be afraid of who succeeds you? You want to be a godfather of a state? Is it your state? 
You know, that was why we, we resisted Adam Sosho Mole, who, who was supposed to be a, a comrade governor that understand that this masses, the power belongs to the people. Mm. You know, you are supposed to give back power to them. You call the people together. Who do you want to be your governor? Okay, okay you go and get your governor yourself. Okay, uh, not you imposing people on us. So we are going to resist the number second if he brings out anybody. Mm. Okay. <laughs> because we are not done well. <laughs> you know. That, but you, you cannot undermine the power of incumbency. No, so, no, we, no we, are not, we are not saying that. Mm. The power the power belongs to the people. Okay. And God gives power. Mm. You know, if he tries to use his uh, his machinery as a governor, we'll go he will fail. He All will right. definitely fail. It's okay, uh, honorable Yeri. Well, to, to add to what you have said, uh, on uh, Comrade Curtis, I think that at the time when Obaseki came on board, you, you will recall that Obaseki wasn't popular. He wasn't a household name at that time. Of course. But he was brought in because Oshomole was on ground. Oshomole was popular. Oshomole became the hero of Edo politics at that time, that time as it yes. then was. Now, the question I should be asking is, does Obaseki has that, uh, that followership, that the goodwill of the people to be able to do that? To produce the next to produce government. The next government. Doesn't have that. But to, to be fair with Obaseki, he has the right to, to say, okay, I am supporting this candidate at the level of his political party. Yes. Now we have the Labour Party, we have the APC. On the PDP side, Obaseki has the right to say, okay, determine who becomes and who becomes, who becomes not mm. at the level of the primaries. But... At a larger uh, scale, on the, by, I mean, giving a chance to the electorate during mm -hmm. voting, it, it, it now becomes uh, the business of the people. Okay, the um, right, right, right. you wanted to say something? Or? Uh, of course, the, the, you, you know the Obaseki I know. I'm, I'm a proud supporter of God in Obaseki. Okay. I'm a, you know, I'm able to, to evaluate the boy. He's not interested in all these things you are talking about. Look at the just concluded election. He was not interested in who would become a candidate. You know, the, even the, which the, of the election now? The local government, how the primary that just happened, he was not interested. Well, that's even, the primary. Even the last election, was it? Know, was there a primary? There was, he was not interested. Mm. People, there was never a people, primary. Mm. I did not con you did not contest on that election. The issue is that mm. one, if I take a critical view about Nigeria, I, can, I don't like discussing a those states in isolation. Nigeria are today. How many of the former governor? And the equipment that are in one page. Hmm. You move across. There is no governor. They, we are just starting another new era now. And I'm saying, let's give them six months. This, the weekend we just talk about weekly example. I'm giving weekend six months. Then let's see if that romance can, political romance can continue for six between, months. Between him and his yeah, successor. The, the he still have the floor. He still you know, the floor. Let's see how the manager this is. Across, you go to Kano, the, the Kano, the last girl mm, uh, and, 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 and the other man don't want to see mm. theirself. You go to uh, Adama, one, they don't want to see theirself. You go very just uh, in Nemo, they, no, but they don't want to see theirself. Then you uh, our show state here, nobody. It, across. You go to Benway State. Even, in, even in, in, in Delta, you mm. see. There was many issues. Therefore, it is no longer relevant for anybody, an incumbent governor, to be interested who succeeded. Because at the end of the day, they always end up uh, in uh, what I call a show of shit. It doesn't really matter. It, it does not really matter. As a governor, if you have served your people well, why are you interested who succeeded you? You understand me? What, what is your focus is that you don't have anything you are hiding. Anybody who, anybody who succeeded you must give that respect to the former governor. You know, consider there is no, I have not seen, no matter the battle between the Ikuben governor and the S, there is no state in this country now where they don't pay the S, the, the, the mm -hmm. former governor, where they don't pay their, their pension. Exactly. They collect that money. No, no, okay. was only made okay, of that. Um, you yes. know, so yes. therefore, mm. they have that kind of arrangement between right. themselves. Okay, now, there are some persons are saying that the rivalry between Senator Oshomole and Governor Baseki is going to be ignited again as we approach the pool, considering the fact that he's, he has federal might. He's in the ruling APC. He's a senator of the Federal Republic. And, of course, he has a very good relationship with the president and commander-in-chief of armed forces. Should we expect that show of battle of supremacy between the two of them? Well, before I go into that, I want to <laughs> start... You know, Why not allow to, what is You know, it was analyzing that mm. the state, every state government, mm. governor that left, you know, the, you must have issues. That is not true. You know, when you when you remove, you know, if you really serve your people well, and 
you are not interested in who become. He said that. Uh, he was like, he made that statement. Wait, he made it. He, was like, he, mm -hmm. he, he referred to him more. He didn't refer to Anabra during uh, uh, Peter Obi. You understand? If your hands are clean, and, and, uh, uh, if your hands are clean, be if, and the same so are the same page, if, they are not if, the same page. If, if, your, hands, he has the if your hands are clean mm. and you serve your people, it can be not collecting pension. Are, are you aware? Uh, that, that's you what I'm saying. So, so, is, 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 is it not funny mm. for a, gov a governor that just left office for eight years to be collecting huge amount of money and tomorrow is a senator, just the way like Adam Oshomole is now? Mm. You are collecting you are, you are you are collecting money. These are not these are not constitutional. Are you terms. expecting him to make a reform? I expect him as a government consti governor. Constitutionally, is this right? As, no, it's not in the constitution. There's nowhere in the constitution that if a, a governor that just left, we it but is part the of state, his, it's part of his entitlement from the state. That is the fraud the mm. state as of assembly have done to our people, and we are going to resist it in due course. They tell them to bring the the law. The law that they made to, to for that pension. But if the state, if the state, if the state, if the state, if the state House of Assembly, they are hiding something. If the state so House of Assembly is backing it, don't you think we don't have an issue here? But no, listen. Eh? The state House of Assembly is not is supposed to be a harm of government. But you see, they've all compromised. They have so let's not go into that. <laughs> you see, they are all robber stamp. They have been conquered. You know, so they have been conquered by the executive hmm. that dictates for them. You know, if you really, if you are really there to represent your people. You are not supposed to play to the gallery by telling the governor telling you they do this pension for what? People, people, pensioners for 35 years, they are, they are running about the streets without collecting more, their pensions. You are collecting huge amount, and as a senator, you are still collecting. Are you not ashamed? Are you carrying the money? Are you carrying the money to? Did you okay. come to the head with money? Mm, all right. So, about mm. this uh, issue of uh, Obaseki and uh, Oshomole, mm. that is their fucking business. <laughs> no, 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 there are no, words, uh, sorry, no, 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 sorry. No, there are words we don't use on air, we sincerely apologize. We apologize for that. We don't use the F words. Both of, yeah. both of them, mm. uh, Oshomole brought Obaseki to his government. Well, okay, it's, it's obvious you have personal issues with this. <laughs> no, 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 let me clear that. I don't have personal issues with that, please let's just try and maintain decorum, right, it's a life program. And we have regulatory bodies. There are words we don't use on it. We sincerely yeah. apologize. I'm sorry about that. Those words are used by our guest on the show. It's not the intention and doesn't reflect the thought of independent television at all. Thank you so much. Mm. So let's come back to you now. He's trying to shy away from that question. I'm going to put it to you. Do you think he's going to ignite the rivalry between a Governor Basek and the immediate past Governor of the State? Please refresh. Come again. Please. The rivalry between them. Okay. There have been a kind of contention for who have the soul of the state. It played out during the elections of the state. So do you think we are going to experience some kind of rivalry between Governor Obaseki and Senator Oshomole? Well, I, I, for me, I, I don't want to believe that, uh, yes, uh, there might be some argument in some quarters to, to suggest that Oshomole and uh, Obaseki, they have one, one issue they have to settle, or they have an astounding issue, or they have you know, issues that is running for them, as we speak. But for me, I don't hold that, uh, that argument, because uh, they have two different political parties. I mean, in the next election, APC would want to get to Sadebe Avenue. Mm. Obaseki would want to ensure that his party remains in power. So I don't think the, the fracas between those, these two individuals can... Uh, can uh, you know take a position in the next election in 2024? Okay. Go to our next stage, Royal Rebo. You are not really giving us what we want on this show this afternoon. I want to ask you, looking at the permutation and having Blessing Agbebaku as the Speaker of the House, don't you think it's an indication that power might shift to Edo Central? Power. No human being can absolutely give power. Power comes from God. Okay. Before election, many persons are going to die. Many persons are going to be hospitalized. Many persons will even be incapacitated. Therefore, there are many things that will happen. It's only the divine God, the unknowing God, that will know what will happen in this election. We, we saw very just in an election where the person who had the, the candidate of a political party to be governor died before the election. Of course. Why are we bothering ourselves over all this? happening in You understand me? Right. Why are we bothering ourselves over all those? The plan of God for us, we should focus on that. We are where election is coming, as you said. The issue now is that I don't want us to be dwelling on that or heading rivalries. Mm -hmm. I don't want enmity between 
the Esa people and the Pini people and the Afama because we want to produce government. That is the reason why I try to maintain no stand so that we move in one direction. It is natural that after the tenor, the expiration of the tenor of the Kuben government, another person will come. Before I was born, somebody was a governor. Of course. Therefore, these are no new thing. People will continue to be governor. Governor will be going and governor will be coming. Of course. Ability for we to get right is what we mean. Now, I've asked you, people have asked me, well, why come you are not saying some agenda, you are saying a do agenda? I said, the SR agenda you are talking about, the SR people will produce Minister of Works. It's for Mesa Nation. The, there is no federal road in Mesa Man, as we are talking now. Is that person was a minister? Is he an Igbo man? Therefore, when you look at these are some of the things you have to know. And people can see also justify. They will tell you that kind of character can still come and be governor. What have we not seen in the hands of Nigerian politicians? That it, I'm not bothered about that. Who will fix the for me if I'm going from Benin to Igwebe? I want to go and see my aunt. I want to go and see my mother. Who will fix the road for me? It's my interest. interest. That's my interest. If I'm going to a do I don't want to be kidnapped. Who can do that for me? It's my paramount interest. I am not bothered of where you are coming from or where you are going. But that does not undermine that the ESA nation don't have that capacity to be governor. That's the point. I told you before that uh, Professor Abdo Sali, even when we were in Bende, was a governor. Tsunami have never have not happened to ESA nation that have reduced the number. The people come with different suggestions, different plan that, that the, the Eastern nation, they are very small. And they are saying that is not the issue we should be looking at. And that is the reason why I'm happy with my friend here. One of the first points he noted, capacity, character. And for people who have what it takes to deliver. And people must be people who understand the local economy the of the people. people. You know, these are the things that will make it. A situation where a man who has been in Lagos or has been in the U.S. for the past 20 years, 25 years, because he has the money, he will not come and be governor. But that can be service to motherland. No, that is all of No, politics in Nigeria is not service to motherland. Nobody should deceive you. Don't be deceived. Nobody should be deceiving you about it. It's service to motherland. We have seen that have seen the alone there for our political discussion and thinking. What have we not seen for the Nigerian government? A government just came now. They were planning. Could they mostly they want mm. to increase their fare mm. in terms of their salary and mm. until we said no, we will not take this. Mm. There was not a brain game. What wow. have we not seen from Nigeria politicians? There okay. is something new. Now, that, mm. The issue of Ravari you are talking about, don't dwell on that because politicians have a way of romancing at any time. You know, so they can easily settle the issue. You are lie that will not be the enemy. Mm. By the time that you see them tomorrow, they meet in. Uh, they are only fighting they, for their interest. It, it's their interest. Okay. Have you ever seen mm. them? In, in the National Assembly, have mm. you ever seen, because of political difference, any mm. senator will say, this is the money we are receiving? Uh, they are united on that that's what okay, the yes. okay, okay, thank you, Roy. And now, um, Governor Basek is actually running the last lap of his second tenor, which is uh, expected to elapse by November. If I, he will be handing over. Yes. And of course he will. What yes. are we expecting from him as he wraps up his government? What should we look out for? What should Edo citizens look out for? Um, for me, a little advice for him, so because whatever you do in life mm. is for your name. Afterwards, but we'll try to be civil in your advice are, now. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> say, you know, I don't have to try to be civil in advice. I just say the way it is, the way my mind is. Try, try. Uh, so, what I you know, people are crying. Look at Sapley Road, mm. Ekpoma Road, uh, uh, University of Ekpoma. They are crying. A government is to serve the people, not to lord over the people. You serve the people. You listen to the people, the mind of the people. You work with the mind of the people. Fix the road for them. It's a federal road. Why can you be coming with excuses? A federal road is road. If your people are enjoying the road, it gives you conscience. You know, your conscience will be happy that, yeah, my people are happy. You will be shaming the federal government. Look, you cannot fix your road. I have fixed it for you. It is the same thing. But you are collecting a uh, security vote. What are those money meant for? You use it to serve the people, not to loot money and take it wherever you want to take it. And your people are crying every day. They will be crying for road. Is that not a shame? So those are the things you should work on. Okay. Whoever that is advising him. No, people like us that speak our mind, they think we don't like them. Mm. We feel for them, you know. Because whatever you do now, tomorrow, <laughs> the government is transient. At the end of this tenure, he, he, can you say we will not come to Edo State again? He will definitely okay. pay a visit one day. All right, uh, another way, Yere. To our next end, some persons are saying that the government of uh, Bas Governor Baseki didn't really favor some senatorial districts. 
that um, there wasn't a widespread of infrastructural development. What says you? Well, human wants are always insatiable. I mean, uh, with, uh, with respect to Edo people, I want to say that uh, governance is not as easy as you think. But for me, I think that uh, looking at the senatorial spread in terms of uh, infrastructural development, Edo Central again have been most marginalized in terms of infrastructural development from the state government. So I think uh, with the few time Obasaki has uh, till November next year, they should try to try as much as possible to leave a legacy, a legacy that is long lasting. Just like uh, uh, Ubo Ubo talked about no. now, the day you leave office, there will be so many regrets in your heart because at that time, it is only you that can tell yourself whether you have performed better or worse. Yeah. That's my submission. Okay, now, looking at the permutations we've been seeing recently, um, Honorable Roy Orwabo, we've been seeing politicians moving from one political party to another. So many, they're leaving the PDP to the Labour Party, the Labour Party to APC, cross capacity. Is it healthy at this point in time? Our politics is here, Bobby. And the characters and the personality that characterize our, uh, our politics are highly nomadic in nature. We have nomadic politicians. You know, they find it difficult to stay in a political party for 24 hours. Therefore, I don't blame them for them because the process is here evolving. Our party politics in this part of the world is not built on ideology. You know, you, people are moved by sentiment. And that's the reason why somebody wants to be president will tell you it is my turn. He's not telling you what he's going to do for the people. Mm. You know, that is the level we have found ourselves. And that, people will continue to move. One, you remember what happened to the farmers, the nomadic farmers, you know? They always believe that there is, the, 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 there is green grass forward. They want to move and get there. They want to move. Mm -hmm. And on note to some of them, the more you are moving, the more you are losing your relevance to the people. But they don't want to hear that. We wish there were those who are moving. We wish there were. They have an ambition. They are moving. They will continue to move. You cannot stop them. It's a decision they have taken by themselves. It, at the end of the day, it is the adult people that will now say, this is the person who will lead us. This election is going to be one of the elections that and with the way I'm looking at it, it's going to be one of the elections that no single individual will be able to take responsibility for this election. Or determine take, take the credit. Yes, they take the credit. Because now, the people are highly sophisticated in terms of uh, political formation. Secondly, the people are yearning for change. They want to see something, what is going on. And that's the reason why I'm using this opportunity to call on the incubator governor. He is doing well in terms of government and governance, but he's not doing well in politics. And it is, it's that politics that people see, and that what refers to as the, the stomach infrastructure. You understand? What many people to say is those who, that stomach infrastructure. Which the one is the stomach? You need, to, you need to break it down. Yeah, yeah, what I mean is that now the society we find ourselves now, mm -hmm. there is high level of poverty. People are hungry. Even me getting to this place just now, I was even thinking if I can join uh, Ubo to even be here. You know, <laughs> you know it's as bad as that. That is where, we find, that is where right. we find ourselves. Mm. And you cannot be telling a man that he's hungry, you should wait till tomorrow before you, I want to tie your own. They're not interested in that. Okay. I had a very bad scenario just now of what is going on in the, the level of poverty. The government must, as a matter of concern, reach out to the people, mm. play the politics with the people so that they will be happy. It's not he who's alive that will enjoy the school you are building. It's he who's alive that will want to travel. Once you are hungry, you are, the first thing you are looking for is food. Okay. You know, I, I believe the, the incumbent governor to me, mm. he have done well in government, but he's not too doing well in yeah, politics. Not he, he, more, he, more, he more step up the game. All right, gentlemen, let's yeah. now use this remaining five minutes and look at the forthcoming local government election. Uh, we have a few minutes to leave the studio. Well, we're, looking, uh, we're looking at the election. Yeah, the local <laughs> government election. Yes. <laughs> let's, just, let's just touch it. I, I've, I contested on that level in 20 years. Will it hold? So, uh, I don't believe in it. I have ah, to tell why, you my mind. Why? The incumbent government, hmm. they always want their people. You see, the recently, uh, the so-called primary, uh, Kagaru primary, they said they conducted. They, uh, they are already celebrating it as if they've done the election. Because they know they are going to write it in government house. They did it to me. You know? So, except the politicians the, in other parties have to stand strong and make sure that they follow up with the incumbent government. I don't believe in any, any election conducted by any state government. 
Oh, somebody have shown it before now. 18 over 18. How can you do an election? You get the whole, uh, is, 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 that, is, that, is, that a, is that an election? That is selection the people's for me. will play out. You understand? No, I don't believe in that. Okay. There are some people, mm. you know, some of the persons they brought out as their local government uh, chairman then, you understand? That the people never wanted. You know, so because of different political party, because mm. of different interests, they want, you know, the incumbent government want their own people there. Honorable Yere, September is around the corner. The election will hold. What are your expectations? Local government elections. Well, I think I would like to share in this view because I don't have, uh, I don't have, for me, I don't think I have any, uh, any trust in that process because as we speak, some of those uh, candidates of the PDP, um, local government uh, chairmanship candidates in the PDP uh, that are products of the kangaroo uh, primaries. primaries that were just conducted, they're already brandishing themselves as local government chairman. And for the purpose, I mean, for lack of words, I would say, and that is what it is. That is what it is. The, the governor has selected his team, and I will tell you for free, nothing will come short of that. Okay. I'm very sure your, your submission will be different, <laughs> Roy or the, the issue is the fact. It's a concrete mm. issue. The, the issue is... Let's listen to... The issue is... It's all about being a supporter mm. for Masaki. Mm. The issue was a very dark. We cannot be discussing and doing isolation. Mm. What is happening in Nigeria is today that the incumbent governor was a content local government. They got it. Uh, is that the problem? Is that the problem? Is that the problem? Is that the that the problem? Is that the problem? During okay. the local government. Yes. I was very critical about that election. Yes. We monitor election in Uromi. My very good friend, my Lord, Yakubu was leading in Uromi. Yeah. And before we know it, we were written in the written in the yes. uh, yes. You understand me? You go to any across. That is the reason why we have been talking and we have been saying that we have to work on our constitution so that the power to conduct local government election will not be in the hand of the state government. Yes. We cannot continue to break God in the for this election. Mm. These are things that is on ground. That you do okay. We cannot okay. do anything. It's not in your it's not your position to mm. question ah. him. Mm. All right, thank you so much, gentlemen. I think uh we really need to stop here now. Thank yeah. you, uh Curtis Ubu for coming. Thank you for having me. Uh, Roy Rabo, thank you for always coming through. Thank you, my brother. Honorable you, my brother. I'm also your brother. Yeah, I'm also your brother. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> there. And this is where we'll be joining the courting for today's edition on 60 Minute Nigeria. We sure do hope you had a lovely time with us. We'll see you next week Thursday. I'm Daniel Price. We'll see them on Bye for now.